are out here, guys. Virginia Beach, Virginia. The start. Hey, you guys, can you come on over? Take our border back convoy. I think. Are they good, guys? Are they? Oh, they got they got press over there, so everybody's got to be over in the press area. Man. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Good morning, Patriots! Woo! Look at this, baby. Yeah. Yes, Folks, you know what? I've led Marines into combat. I've had the, the opportunity to be able to know what it's all about in combat and in peace. And this is what it's all about right here. The fact that you guys will get out of your comfort zones at home and come and join us for this. It, it, it boggles my mind. And it tells me everything that we did as Marines. It tells me everything we, that our, our service members have done all over the world has been well worth this. This is the start of something big, folks. Our team, which is which is my buddy YG here, yeah! YG Nightstorm, and this is a, this is an ecumen. I want to get you, give you all the parameters here real quick as best I can. This is an ecumenical thing. We don't care what you believe or what you don't believe. Okay, what we do believe is in America. We believe the fact that this Constitution is inviolable. Amen. And we do believe that God Almighty gave that. We do. My buddy YG. I'm a Roman Catholic, okay? But I do, I used to lead the Christian coalition here in the local area. So yeah, I've got experience in those areas. And today is the beginning of something new. We did first landing right here in Virginia Beach last April. First landing, 1607. That's where our founders first stepped foot on this continent and said, dedicated this land to Jesus Christ and the gospel would go forth from this land. Amen. This has come out of it. This has flowed from it. And our buddies in Texas, that Robert A.G., Donica Hudson, the other part of our team that did that, are all waiting for us in Texas. Amen. And the fact that you would join us here today, I could, man, I could go through walls now for the fact that you have done what you've done for us in supporting this. Say, you folks are people! beyond. Stand Amen. Up now, the one thing I want to stress, because because the fact is is that we've gotten bad press already people are making up all kinds of stories that aren't true this is all about being a peaceful peaceable demonstration right. Right. to go forth and to say that we are followers of our lord jesus christ who is a man of peace Amen. And, and that we will stand there and we will intercede in prayer because we don't want our national guard guys taking the brunt of everything going on they've come out of their homes and they've, and they've sacrificed their families, you know, environments to be there and defend us. So we're going to go there and we're going to have thousands. I'm, I'm hearing 40,000 truckers coming from all over the country in Canada. Yeah. Holy yeah. mackerel. Yeah. So I just want to, I want to encourage you. We just ain't going to be no Maribas and Massa, you know, the, the whole thing of in the desert of, of complaints and all that stuff. We're going to get we're gonna get stuff happening as we go. We all know that. This is this is somewhat of an uncoordinated, we only started this three and a half weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten to this point in a very short period of time. God has opened doors that no man can close and he's closed doors that no man can open. Amen. And we're gonna live Lord, like that. We're it's, led by the Lord. Amen. amen. But so as we go, there will be disruptions. And we're not, and we're, we're going to address that in a manner that loves one another that the lord called us to love one another and we will do that as we go and we will be the best of citizens in this country to show that's what it's all about so we ask you to be patient right now the the first perturbation the first screw up we've got going is i-64 out here which is what we're going to take going out to emporia is already backlogged it's already backed up so we're finding a redirect of traffic to go down military highway and probably out the other side so you're going to have to hang with me as we kind of you know, progress along that route. That the, my buddy YG here is from, he is the executive director of an organization called Church Militant St. Michael's Media. He's right. out of Detroit and and he is yeah, with us the YG. whole way. Yeah, so we're what's gonna up buddy, yeah. <laughs> yes sir. All right, so I wanna say, first of all, good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, and I need you guys to come a little bit closer because this is about family. Okay, this is not about violence, 
but this is about a love for our Lord and a love for our country. And right now our country needs a revival. We are going on the streets. We are talking to black, white, Jew, Gentile, Protestant, Catholic. Everybody is needed right now because we all knew these days was coming. If you ever been following the Bible, we knew these days was coming and we are privileged to live in the days right now and to serve our Lord. So we are going on this journey together and we're gonna need everyone. As we said, no violence, but we are gonna launch a revival that this country has never seen. We're going after the young, we're going after the old. America is the greatest country on God's green earth because of us. The people, because of us. And that is what this is about. Yes, we want to protect our borders. We understand people are running from all kinds of danger. Their home. Yes. And it's unfortunate that our president, he can protect everybody else, but I call him an absentee father for America. You can't go out and protect everybody else and leave your own home unsecured. You got to be a better daddy to your people. Amen. So we are want to make sure we're protecting our home. We are praying. We are coming together. And we are going to launch this greater than anything you ever seen. So God is our victim. And without him, there is nothing. So I need you to come in just a little bit more closer because we got to pray. He used to be a Baptist minister and then Can he became you a Catholic. Can you tell? I was Baptist, I'm Catholic, but I got love for everybody because everybody loved me. The reason why I'm standing right here is because black people and white people, Catholics and Jews and Protestants, rescued me. So can we pray real quick? Before we pray, before we, because we're going to close it with prayer, okay? Yep. I want you to know, these are the faces as we go towards our destination. Joshua Macias, Woo! veterans, veterans for America First. He and I work together, he's chaplain for that. Chaplain. He lives locally here. That's down here. We got a little sign on the, a little sticker or, or sign on the side, Veterans for America First. I also represent them in a role at Veterans for America First. Mm -hmm. Ivan Rakin down here. Hi, guys. Hi, He's going with me. Ivan is a fundamental <laughs> defender of the injustice done to our guys at J6. Ivan, good. That is just. Oh, no. Thank Ivan is. Oh, oh, I got this. I got this. Back up. Back up. All right. Let's go, brother. Get up there, Ivan. Let's go, brother. Oh, no letting touch the ground. Hey, Gimpy wants a piece of this. Come on. <laughs> okay. This is going to stretch out. Bring out the gill. Oh, wow. Good job. We got it down here. Okay, let's stretch this out a little bit more. Okay. Don't pull You got it, sister? All right, thank you, sister. Thank you. Do we have somebody that can hang with me? Thank you, sister. Thank you, tall man. Thank you. There it is. All right. Are we ready?